Hello, and welcome to Mr. AP. About nine months ago, we published a video briefly going over the AP history and social sciences classes, receiving changes to DBQ and LEQ rubric sections for 2023 to 2024 year, and AP physics changes for 2024 to 2025. That video covered some aspects of AP physics changes without delving too much into the details. The point of this video is to analyze each course and their respective changes as the 2024-25 academic year is soon to kick off for students worldwide. Let us start with AP Physics 1 course changes. Good news for young physics enthusiasts, this course will now feature 8 units, an increase from 7, as AP Physics 2 Unit 1 fluids will turn into AP Physics 1 Unit 8 fluids. Further, more concrete connections between translational and rotational motion will be implemented, more power references within learning objectives, and more equations for simple harmonic motion. Exam-wise, there will be a reduction from 50 to 40 multiple choice questions and from 90 minutes to 80 minutes to do them, granting 0.2 additional minutes per MCQ question from 1 minute 48 seconds to 2 minutes. Multi-select questions are removed, a common change among all AP Physics classes. So tell us your thoughts on that aspect down below. For Section 2 FRQ, we have a reduction from 5 to 4 questions of the types below and a 10 minute increase in time from 90 minutes to 100 minutes, granting 7 additional minutes per FRQ from 18 minutes to 25 minutes, assuming identical question weight. Alrighty then. So to compare AP Physics 1 changes, just AP Physics 1 as of right now, we're going to compare the formula sheets as well. You could look at the entire course and exam description that is updated and is on the College Board website. Like any new changes can be traced down or compared with the old course and exam description. But I'm just going to compare the formula sheets because I find these changes to be more significant than they are thought of because that gives you more formulas or less to work with as well as more or less information to you know complete the exam um so on the left hand side we have the old formula sheet and on the right hand side we have the new formula sheet so if we are to look at them the old one has some of constants that are unnecessary in the course this includes proton, neutron, and electron mass, as well as speed of light, electron charge, Coulomb's law constant. You don't really use these in mechan mechanics, AP Physics 1, algebra-based algebra mechanics. So they have been removed, as you can see on the right-hand side. Um, what has been added is one atmosphere of pressure, because guess what? Fluids are part of the course, and well, yeah, it includes pressure. So you can see there's only four constants to give you now. The prefixes are still there, very convenient in terms of dimensional analysis and whatnot. Um, unit symbols, they have removed ohms and stuff like that, that, in, that includes electricity and magnetism, which is not something you should be concerned in AP Physics 1 at all. You still got your trig values, um, following, conversion, following assumptions, conventions, the battery part is gone because well, you're not working with batteries. Direction of current is conventional current. Well, you're not working with currents. So they did clean it up a little bit to make it more relevant to the exam, which is nice. They moved the geometry and trig up here instead of having on the right hand side right here. So that's convenient. I'm not sh I don't think they give you any more any new formulas through that, um, except S equals R theta, but we're going to see that and the actual mechanics and fluids formula sheet on its own. So to actually move on to the important formulas, um, the, the ones that you are most frequently going to be working with, you got your kinematic equations still there. You got your center of mass equations, which have been kind of on some formula sheets and not on others. And sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. On the last um, 2024 AP Physics 1 exam, there was a lot of center of mass FRQs and those this formula certainly would have been helpful on the new formula sheet because um, it just says where the point where the center of mass of an object is based on mass distribution so you have that new formula on the right hand side um, you got your most of the formulas as you can see are constant they have added the yes on the new one they have added more formulas that sort of translate from rotational to um, translational 
motion as you can see omega squared equals initial omega squared plus 2 alpha and then the differences in thetas is basically rotational we could technically just convert it as you could just use the kinematic one originally and just replace your velocity with angular velocity and then your uh, translational acceleration with your angular acceleration and yeah it was pretty straightforward because you could just substitute those values in for what they are in translate in rotational but yeah now they just made it more easy for you to work with as well as they have defined how to convert from translational to rotational which is just one less thing to memorize which is convenient um on the new one they do give you the ro rotational inertia moment of inertia right there i equals and then capital sigma mr squared so they tell you that in the rotational moment of inertia of an object is the combination of all you know objects in the system so those are i mean mr squared is something i equals mr squared is something you have to memorize now it's given which is you know quality of life type of improvement um so yes a lot of new formulas specifically as well the pressure so the pressure the fluids section of ap physics 2 has moved to ap physics 1 all these formulas are at the bottom right um there's a, the symbol j now represents impulse and I mean, I guess now you could use J to represent impulse. Um, they did give you density here in the in old AP Physics 1 formula, but you didn't really need it. Now you do. Um, and yeah, that does look like most of the formulas they did. Um, they did up change it a lot. The formula sheet does include more content that, you know, could help you throughout the exam. And yeah, quality of life change, really convenient. Oh, and they did give you the translational um, formula for angular momentum, which is also quality of life. That one you had to take some time to actually derive and understand it. It wasn't bad, like once you got a hang of it, you knew what you were doing, but it's just convenient because now you have two formulas for angular momentum. And that is all for AP Physics 1 formula sheet changes, yeah. Now on to AP Physics 2. To depict AP Physics 2 as a sequential course to AP Physics 1, units will range from 9 to 15. As, of, as aforementioned, fluids unit has moved from AP Physics 2 to 1, bringing unit count to 6 from 7. But unit 6 geometric and physical optics is now two separate units. Geometric optics, unit 13, and waves, sound, and physical optics, unit 14, bringing unit count back up to 7 for AP Physics 2 full treatment of waves, more thorough circuit treatment, and black body radiation combining first and last unit of AP Physics 2 are some of key course refinements. Regarding the exam, what actually matters, there will be a reduction from 50 to 40 MCQs and from 90 minutes to 80 minutes to do them, granting 0.2 additional minutes per MCQ question from 1 minute to 48 seconds to 2 minutes identical to AP Physics 1. Multi-select are removed, as aforementioned, FRQ questions of the types below and a 10 minute increase in time from 90 minutes to 100 minutes, granting 2.5 additional minutes per FRQ from 22.5 minutes to 25 minutes, assuming identical question weight. Now, to compare the AP Physics 2 old and new formula sheet, there is an increase of one more page of formulas and based on the starting with constants and conversion factors there are more constants introduced in ap physics 2 now as you can see at the bottom we have Wien's constant steven boseman constant as well as others it's overall more packed it is more organized and we still got the prefixes and still the conventions that should be followed in the mechanics it was initially the first part of ap physics 2 formula sheet now it's at the bottom with the fluids um so we'll start with electricity there's not that many changes to electricity one thing that did stood out to me was the time constant which is equal to the resistance times capacitance you can see at the bottom now this is electricity and magnetism here they split them up electricity in, on one side and magnetism in a separate section magnetism not much change to that thermal physics we got q equals mcat which was not on the old formula sheet and i believe that was and they did define u yes that is a big one u is equal to 3 over 2 nrt which is equal to 3 over 2 nkbt 
So they did define the internal energy formula for you and instead of just the change in internal energy, which is another quality of life. You did technically have to memorize this one, but you could derive it, but nobody wants to do that. Um, thermal, moving on to wave sound and optics. Before there was only like, what is this, seven formulas and only a few constants, as you can see on the small box. In this new formula sheet, you got a lot more to memorize. You got path length as one of your constants, which is different from separation. You got your angle, I mean, speed, position, and you got different positions as well, index of refraction, I mean, that's common. Um, and as you can see, there's just overall more formulas. If you, I mean, wave sound and optics has been expanded. They did say they're splitting up one unit into two and it's visible Y here. They're simply adding more formulas now, which could be a good thing, as well as modern physics. I'll actually conclude with that as I'm finished comparing the two formula sheets. Modern physics does also see more formulas. Initially, it was four. Now, as you can see, it's like almost 10 or around 10. You got constants to work with, number of particles. And yeah, it's just much. You got area and even more constants. Modern physics and wave sound and optics clearly have more formulas now. What this means in the wide picture is just you need to understand more concepts in AP Physics 2, not just conceptually, but also numerically. And with AP Physics 2, that can get, get quite tough. Finally, AP Physics C Mechanics and AP Physics C Electricity and Magnetism. In terms of course changes, both classes are simply receiving modification to language consistency in defining learning objectives and topics in the course and exam description, CED. Now, for exam updates, and this is the most influential ones, both exams will have an increase from 35 to 40 MCQs and from 3 to 4 FRQs. Womp, womp, womp. In exchange, however, the time for MCQ section 1 and FRQ section 2 is increased from 45 to 80 minutes and from 45 to 100 minutes, respectively. Approximately double the original time. In terms of timing per MCQ, this increases it from 1.29 minutes per MCQ to two minutes per MCQ, which should allow students to pace themselves in a more manageable fashion. FRQ time per question will be increasing from 15 to 25 minutes. Alrighty, now on to AP Physics C Mechanics. The old formula sheets on the left, new ones on the right. You can see only three constants. So I believe what they did, and AP Physics students, AP former AP Physics C students could correct me, is they split up the AP Physics C formula sheet because of the two different courses. Um, because on this, on the old one, they have mechanics and electricity and magnetism both. Unless I'm looking at the wrong old formula sheet, but I feel like this is what it looked like for both AP exams. Um, nevertheless, now you only have three constants on this new formula sheet. And instead of however many that is, and in terms of the actual content on the formula sheet, pretty similar. Ignoring the electricity and magnetism, the all of the formulas are similar to how the algebra-based mechanics course got updated. You do see more derivative con conversions of like angular displacement to angular velocity, as you can see on the right-hand side. Um, we did get those sort of clear conversions in the new formula sheets. And another thing I did notice or that stood out to me on the old one there's on the old one there's no reference of like radius distance or position in the new one formats where it's the integral of rdm over integral of dm so that's like the radius of center of the object and i don't exactly i'll probably learn it i didn't take physics c yet so just fyi i kind of self-studied it but not effectively and as you can see they're introducing a variable called linear mass density and that is nowhere seen in the old formula sheet and I did look back and the 2018 AP Physics C Mechanics FRQ did use linear mass density in their problem but they did give you a formula for it and I believe it functions the same as center of mass could be wrong but I, I forgot what it was about i already forgot what the variable is linear mass density so that formula is now on there which means we could see linear mass density on the test on the exam in any version so that's unfortunate but hopefully it's an easy topic and yeah that's pretty much it all the rest is just translated from the old one to the new one 
and yeah, more clear connection between the translational to rotational involving calculus. And AP Physics C Electricity, we are using the same old formula sheet because I'm working with the assumption that they gave you this formula sheet on the exam which had both the necessary and unnecessary topics and constants. So we see it's pretty much the same in terms of electricity and magnetism constants, just translated over to the new formula sheet. And in terms of electricity and magnetism formulas with involvement of calculus, you could see they're pretty much identical. Some formulas that do stand out to me is the angular frequency formula and many more. I, I don't wanna go exact into every single formula, but as you could see, there's more formulas. This is electricity and magnetism on the right with both columns take, taken up with, with formulas, whereas on the old one is just, you know, one box. So they did split them up and there are much more constants that you got to work with. So yes, and then you were given the mechanics on both to work with, well, the preliminary subject, preliminary topics that come up in electricity and magnetism problems. And you're given your calculus and vectors. You're given more vectors actually. Looking at the vector products, they only give you two formulas in the old one. And on the new one, there's like five. And vectors are an important uh, factor of a calculus-based physics. So something to acknowledge there. And they give you the log identity also. Interesting. They gave you more identities. That might come up. But yeah, it, some of them are given. Sine over cosine is tangent. If you, you know, did calculus and are taking physics C, you know that. But aren't others like sine of two theta split split up and um, the log one yeah so they're just again making your life easier so that they're actually testing you on your physics knowledge and not like your math knowledge but yeah you can review these in depth I'm not, I don't want to go over into every single formula change but yeah the major ones I listed are the major changes between the formula sheets of all of these AP physics courses not just physics C but all of them all of them saw a change to the formula sheet in one way or form do let me know if you look over the course and exam description and see any changes any significant changes there might be a word change or two but if you see any significant wording changes in the course and exam description for any of these AP physics classes do let us know in summary, in terms of course changes, the most impacted courses include AP Physics 1 and 2 with an additional unit and the unit breakup, respectively. With regards to exam, the AP Physics C exams will be much longer and less time restrictive, allowing for in-depth analysis of each individual question and a higher probability of getting a 5 on the exam. Really looking forward to the score distributions for these courses in June 2025, but until then, that is all for AP Physics changes for the 2024-25 school year. Do let us know what your thoughts and what factors you believe were necessary, which not so much, and overall the best and worst changes within this context. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.